Welcome to the channel. In this video, we check out the Bridge City HP8 block plane with the wings. Stick with me. All right, so here they are. I have to start with a little bit of backstory and some full transparency. To start, these are the first Bridge City products that I've ever held. So that might explain this next part. I got this plane from a buddy named Scott. He is the one that also sent us the Workshop 3000 and the Irwin Marples chisels. I will put a link up in the corner to those videos. So while this one was on the way, I ended up purchasing this one from a friend. And I said, this is perfect. Not only can I do a review of these tools, but I can also do a comparison. Well, they're the same just different colors. So this one was made in 2020. This one was made in 2022. Again, I'm brand new to Bridge City Tools. So if there are any other differences to this, like if that's a special edition or something like that, feel free to let me know down below. So weight wise, they both come in at seven pounds, two ounces. They are both three and 11 sixteenths long and one and three quarters wide. Price wise, this is the funny part because every time I go on Bridge City to look up the price of these, they're right around $76. And then right next to it is always a scratched out price to show like it's on sale. And that scratched out price is $165. So if for whatever reason you go to BridgeCity.com and you see that the price is $165, wait a couple days because they always go on sale. <laughs> Now let me go ahead and show you guys these tools. Obviously I took the wings off of this one already. They are held on by little Allen screws and it comes with the Allen key for it. But I wanted to take these ones off just to save time. While I'm doing this, you're gonna start seeing videos pop up of me actually using the tools. And just remember, I thought they were different and that's why you're seeing me use both. <laughs> This one without the wings. Here are the wings if you're curious. Pausing for a moment because I have to get a shout out to my buddy over at Make Mistakes. Um, I had set up a Patreon account and a Discord account, and I am brand new to both. So it was like a whole new, whole new world to me. Um, I was struggling to figure out what to do and how to do things, and Make Mistakes just jumped in and helped me out. So I highly recommend you go over and check out her channel. I will put a link up in the description. I will also put a link to my Discord and my Patreon down below. All right, let's get back to it. Now, to answer a question, because if you want the short answer, it's a yes, no answer, whether I recommend this or not. Does it have a place in the shop? Yes, if you need to thickness small pieces, which would probably be doing a lot of inlays, um, things on the side of a board, you know, stuff like that. If you ever need to take a board and make sure that it's whatever thickness you need it to be, these are great for that because the wings, the wing is the biggest feature for this plane in my opinion. Or if you have an inlay in a board and you want it to sit a little bit proud, um, whether it's a dowel and for the style you want it to be a little bit proud, these would be awesome for that as well. As an everyday user, that's where I'm going to say no, only because it's not comfortable to hold. While I'm using this, you might I might be able to show you in the footage, but I was actually, I still kind of have red right here and red up here because where these wings were hitting my hand, it was hurting. It was digging in because you have to put pressure. The other thing is I was figuring out that it's very forward heavy because what you have to do is you have to push down with your palm onto the tops of these wings or onto here. And that's uncomfortable. And I tended not to do that. So I was dipping the board out on the end of it. I also tried it with the wings off to see if, okay, maybe this is going to be more comfortable to use, but you have this digging into your palm and the corner digging into your palm. So I was getting marks over here which are still kind of there as you can see so it's not super comfortable to hold you could try holding it just like this like like that um but the hand pressure 
right there kind of hurt. So that's something to keep in mind. As a daily user, it's not going to be super comfortable. Now, if you just need to grab this and do like a quick chamfer on a board, then absolutely, you know, not a problem. But if you're going to use it for an extended period of time, other than thicknessing or reducing an inlay or something like that, I don't know that I would really recommend it for that. Now, to utilize the wings the best, um, what I'd recommend is getting yourself some templates because these are kind of difficult to adjust because you have to undo them and then they swing freely. Let me show you that. So see, they can, they can just go wherever they want, okay? So what I'd recommend is getting a couple different boards and say this one was like a quarter of an inch. You would write quarter of an inch on there, so then what you would do is you would set this board down, set your plane on it, let the wings drop, and then tighten those down, and you would know it's at a quarter inch. Or if it was a half inch, get a half inch board, drop this on there and then you would know it's at a half inch. So that's actually what I'm gonna do because this one is mine and I am going to do that so I have templates ready to go that I can drop this plane down onto and know it's where I want it to be. Because it would be very tough to do this with like a square or a tape measure or something like that. Now let me show you how these planes actually function. It's gonna be easier to show you without the wings like how it all goes together and stuff. So you can see this right here. If the light, there we go. This is the cap iron, so you loosen that. You have to loosen it a lot because it doesn't come out. So you have to loosen it almost all the way, and then you can lift the iron and slide it out. Okay, so see this piece in here? It doesn't, doesn't come out. The other thing is in here, it's kind of a Norris-style adjuster, but it has no lateral, so this is just depth. And on the note of the lateral, you don't have room to adjust it. So watch. That's all you get. So you need to make sure that your iron is square. Now this piece is what the cap screw actually goes into. So it goes into here and it actually adjusts it for you. Cause I was kind of like, well, how am I gonna remember where to put this and have it exact and just guesstimate, put it in there. And because it's a magnet, when you start tightening the cap down, it positions it where it needs to go. So I like that feature a lot. I think that that's really neat. Here's the irons. I should have measured it. Let's see. It is a 1 8 inch thick iron. And I mean, you can see in the footage, it took really good shavings, really pretty shavings. So it is solid in there. I didn't get any kind of backlash or chatter or anything like that. They both do have an adjustable mouth that has a lot of range. Let me get in camera. The thing I found funny with it is, watch it when I tighten it down. Do you see it moves? So there's a gap up there and a gap over here. So let me loosen it. See that? It moves side to side. So... It's not a knock. I just find it funny because Bridge City rants and raves about how they're like, they make top of the line tools and they're they're awesome and all this kind of stuff. Well, they didn't even machine the mouth tight, side to side. It's it's the same with this one. It's just a, I guess just the way that they did it. <laughs> the other thing is with this, um, make sure you tighten this down really well because I did have the mouth slip and hit my iron. So just make sure you tighten that. To sum everything up, I like this plane. I feel like it does have a place in the shop, it's just uncomfortable to hold. So if you're gonna use it for a long time, you just kinda gotta accept that it's gonna be uncomfortable to hold. If you guys found a comfortable way to hold it, let us know down below. I tried it with the wings, without the wings, and no matter what, I was getting those hot spots on my hands. Um, I definitely don't recommend it without the wings because the iron and the depth stop were digging in my hand and that hurt a lot more. If you are going to use this to thicken, which is pretty much the only reason I'm going to keep it because I do work with small pieces and sometimes I like to or I need to have them at a specific thickness. So I recommend making those templates like a quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch. So all you have to do is set the plane on there, drop the wings, tighten them down and you know it's exactly the depth that you need. 
The other thing is, while I was thicknessing a board, I didn't even realize till it happened. You saw me using a plane stop. I think this went boom, right into the plane stop, and I was like, oh. Yeah, that, that's not going to work. So that's something to keep in mind. Maybe you need to get like a, a bench dog or something like that. Mine are too thick or, or too wide, but maybe a bench dog that's narrower that the wings can pass by it. If you guys found a good way to do that, feel free to let us know down below. If it's for trimming inlays that you need to have a certain height above the board, it's going to work perfectly. Am I going to reach for this as my daily user for every task that I need a plane that size? I'm not going to, only because it's uncomfortable. That's my only... My only negative about this plane, because it was very solid in use, I didn't get any kind of chatter, I didn't get any kind of backlash, I was able to take whisper thin shavings, and I was also able to take very thick shavings, so, it's a good plane. If you have a different opinion than mine, that is perfectly fine, that is 100% allowed, so feel free to let us know down below if you agree with me. Also let us know down below, don't forget to do the like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. <laughs>